This is your UAW update. I'm Jess Feeney. The student amenities fee is still a hot topic as students and staff finish negotiating the allocation of the money. We caught up with the man in charge of the distribution, Chris Grange. I think it's going to actually have a really positive impact on students. You know, there's money going to improve advocacy, legal advice, financial advice. There's money going to improve the social facilities and clubs. So, so it's all going where it should be going. So there are only a very small number of recommendations which weren't taken. The Student Representative Forum wanted to see an emergency loan scheme for students in financial difficulty and recommended that. But we actually already have an emergency loan scheme on the campus. But it obviously reflects that we're not doing a good enough job of letting students know that that facility is already available. The Vice Chancellor, Paul Wellings, has responded to a Sunday Telegraph article that claimed he wanted the university to be elitist. Professor Wellings says he wants UOW to be elite, but not elitist, in the sense of only accepting wealthy students. In a statement, he says, I certainly want to elevate the university into the top 1% of the world universities from its current 2% ranking. I think it's critical that we should not become a free-for-all by dropping our standards and accepting as many students as we can. In that regard, you could say that we are aspiring to be elite. It's absolutely essential that we make sure this university remains accessible to students irrespective of their social backgrounds who deserve a place here. Hence the vital need to maintain scholarships and the like. And of course, we were keen to gauge student reaction. But Australia doesn't really have any hugely elite unis. Like England and America have the obvious ones, but Australia doesn't. So maybe it would be a good thing to have one that was really high up there. I you know, didn't get an ATAR of 95. I got 78.9, I'll just say it on camera, which was enough to get my course but I don't think I would be here and I think there are many people that will go on to do great things that wouldn't be here and wouldn't have opportunities to go to other unis because it's just too far. The Australian Association for the Advance of Pacific Studies recently held a conference in Wollongong. Academics have shared their research strategies that aim to help sustain countries in the Pacific. So we've got people here from diverse disciplines trying to exchange ideas about a large number of different countries and societies. It's a, an area of such great variety of human experiences, of human abilities. It's an exciting place to learn about, but it's also important not just because it's close to Australia and part of our regional environment, but also because studying the region can illuminate some of the things we take for granted in our own society. When you're interested in the Pacific, there are not as many opportunities as there are when you're interested in other parts of the world. And this, of course, is also particularly interesting because it's an attempt to talk across customary academic disciplines. The Illawarra Institute of Sport played host to almost a thousand competitors for the 2012 Academy Games. Yeah, we've got a lot of feedback from the competitors to say that they had a fantastic time. The standard of competition was really high, so that was great for a lot of the, um, the teams and the individuals involved in those sports. And we were lucky because the weather was just amazing. So in terms of what the event offered, the athletes had a fantastic time. And we will change a few things and make some improvements. In terms of sport, we've got seven sports on board at the moment. So we'll be reviewing each of those sports and we will look in the next six months to see what other opportunities there are to bring on different sports for the next year and, and beyond that. The Illawarra will secure the Games for the next two years. The Faculty of Creative Arts new artist in residence, Vicki Smith, is here to share her art practices with students. She spoke to UAW TV about the influence for her latest work. Analogue is becoming obsolescent. Um, it's almost as though artists have rushed to use it in its kind of last moments. I just think that there's a rush to replace analogue before I think it's been exhausted, its formal possibilities. And I see that as an economic imperative. It's actually um, driven by the marketplace and profit. And um, so I see it as entirely political choice to work with with the moving image. We'll leave you with some footage from Yacht Club DJ's latest gig at Unibar, recorded for Triple J's Live at the Wireless. That's your UAW update. I'm Jess Feeney.